Daniel tries weird things. Welcome to another exciting episode of Danielle Tries Weird Things. As you can probably already tell, I'm not my usual enthusiastic self because of this week's taste test. Baby food. Here did baby feet, might as well stick with that theme. But you're probably thinking, why baby food? What good is that for me as an adult? If you have an applesauce at lunch every day, sometimes I like to do that. I want a little treat, I've earned it. Baby applesauce has too much sugar. Maybe it's not the right mix of vitamins or minerals or nutrients you're looking for and you want to switch it up a little. I don't know. The reasons are your own. Don't let anyone shame you. So we're going to do a mix of vegetables and fruits. We've got peas, mixed vegetables consisting of carrots, potatoes, yellow split peas, and red lentils. So that texture should be fantastic. We have apple, pear, and banana. Um, the flavors are good, but texture is going to be a big concern for me. And then apple, strawberry, and banana. Now, if you're so inclined, they do have other flavors like ham, Thanksgiving dinner, and roasted chicken rice. I'm not going to try those. I mean, luckily I'm vegan, so I can just get out of it because they look pretty rough. A ham, I didn't actually think it was ham. I thought it was parsnip when I picked it up. It didn't look like that, but you do you. So, we're going to start with the vegetables. Let's break into this can of peas. Now, I do actually like peas a lot, so, um, oh, fuck. Yup, that smells like peas. Oh my god. Just check and make sure the peat bucket's close. As you can see, it's got that nice creamy texture. It's cold, so that's a good bonus. Um, so, it does taste like peas. There's a little bit of another flavor in there that I can't quite put my mouth on it. It means it's a bit irony, I want to say. The texture, though, is, is pretty rough. It's kind of like a coagulated pudding that's maybe like, you know, someone was trying to throw in with their cornstarch, but they didn't really like slowly add it in and it got a little clumpy and it's kind of like that. Now, if for some reason you really decided this was just the way to get your peas, um, my work. Up next, mixed vegetables. This is again carrots, potatoes, yellow split peas, and red lentils. So my concern here is going to be the texture of the lentils cold mixed in with this. Also the potato mixture with that might be bad because you guys, you know, putting potatoes in certain things changes their texture. Oh, okay, it's separated so we're off to a great start. Wow. It smells Yep, this is baby food. Yeah, it smells bad, this one. Oh boy, okay, so we gotta give this one a little stir. I'll tell you right now, it looks pretty lumpy and grainy and it's a bad scene. See that? Here comes the airplane. It weirdly just tasted like unseasoned pumpkin pie. But, um, yeah, the texture wasn't completely terrible. Um, it wasn't as solid as you would get with a pumpkin pie. Think of if a pumpkin pie kind of coagulated a little bit more. It was a little bit watery. Um, but not nearly as bad as I thought. All right, on to the next bit, fruits. So we have apple, pear, and banana, I believe. Yes, this shouldn't be too bad. It smells pretty good. Pretty watery in its texture. Um, so, like, not as thick as you would an applesauce. You can kind of see that. It doesn't have that clumpiness. It's a little watery. Yeah, this one's alright. It's not bad. Um, there's banana in there. Not just from the flavor, but from the consistency point. So that's a little bit jarring. So depending on what kind of textures you like. It might not be for you. It's baby food, so it's not for you anyway. Alright, apple, strawberry, banana. So this should probably be pretty much the same. Might be a little firmer because of the apple. Uh, strawberry added into it. Oh, smells all right. So yeah, it's got a similar consistency, but it is just a bit thicker. See that? Flavor-wise, it's fine. Texture, um, I really no good way to put this, but if you have a problem with like 
sugary-ish textures, like you're not a fan of like soaked chia seeds or something like that. It's not quite that bad, but because of the banana, it, it, it is on the verge of that. So maybe not the greatest. Okay, so time to review our parents' choice baby food. We're gonna start with the peas. Really didn't like it, pretty rough. It's gonna be five pukes. <laughs> Don't eat it. Next vegetables. If you put some pumpkin spice, like pumpkin pie spices in it, might be all, all right. So we're gonna give that three pukes. <laughs> own it, make it your own and it'll be fine. Apple pear banana. I give that, I'd say one puke, just because of the almost slimy texture from the banana. And apple strawberry banana. Again, one puke, simply for that almost slimy texture. So if you're sick of applesauce and maybe you want to mix it up a little bit, are only about 50 cents at Walmart, so that's a good way to change things up at lunchtime. Just be ready for some weird questions. Of course, our friendly reminder to please like and or subscribe if you liked what you saw today. Feel free to leave a comment below with any comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, whatever. Just go crazy, kids. If you'd like to see more of our work, you can find us at littlegiantmonsters.com and also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And Gerber, if you'd like a shameless plug, hit me up.